you can see very clearly that it is dark. No lights are on over here. In fact, the only light on is coming from our camera. But when you turn the lights out, you understand how dark it actually is. I do have new information. About 10 minutes ago, I talked to the public information officer with the New Cumberland Fire Department. We now know that the fire was brought under control a little after 5.30 this evening. We all expect that our airbag is going to protect us. What we know right now is that one person was shot. When it comes to winter weather driving, there's a lot of things you have to keep in mind. One of them is having a tire gauge to check the pressure on your tires. You also need to make sure you check the tread on your tires so if you have to stop, you can. The snow has started to get a little bit heavier. It's coming down at a much steadier rate. Take a look at the roads. This is Front Street here in Uptown Harrisburg. As some cars drive by, as you can obviously hear by the honking. A lot of snow now really starting to stick to the roads and really cover up. Even a little bit of snow starting to accumulate, start to get a little slushy out there. And of course, it's not just the roads, it's also even the sidewalks. So whether you're driving or whether you're walking, doesn't matter. You're going to have a lot of this a lot of snow right here on the ground. So as the snow continues to accumulate and fall, a lot of people coming back from those parties and from bars probably watching the Super Bowl tonight. Take it easy. Take your time so you can get from point A to point B safely. That, of course, is the point. But the snow still falling and falling at a pretty good rate here in Harrisburg. Reporting live, Brian Tmadrick, CBS 21 News. Residents in this West Hanover Township community awakened the pleas for help after a neighbor's car caught fire. I saw this tire spinning and um, like you could see like the smoke coming up. It wasn't it wasn't on fire yet, but you could see that there were like sparks and something wasn't right. Neighbor Bill Narr felt the same way. He grabbed two fire extinguishers to put out the flames, but then asked his neighbors about the whereabouts of their neighbor, Doug, who owns the car. I said, he's not in the car, is he? They said they don't know. So I ran over, opened up the door, and there was just so much black smoke, I could just see his, his left arm on the steering wheel. This cell phone video uploaded to YouTube shows Nar as he locates his neighbor. Doug, Doug, oh my oh God. My God. The video goes black as the person recording along with another resident run over to help. Nar says flames were spreading as rescuers struggled to get their neighbor out of the burning car. He wanted his keys out of the car. And when I snapped off the ignition key and said, here, Doug, we have the keys, he was like, oh, OK. I said, well, I need your help outside. You know, and that's when he walked out and we walked down to the bottom. But the drama wasn't over. Flames spread up the side of the townhomes as firefighters arrived. The charred side of this house, just some of the damage left from Sunday morning's fire, but the damage is left behind a big mess. Take a look at the vinyl siding and insulation left all over the ground and the fire so intense that it didn't just damage the home, it also damaged this car that was parked right next to the fire. Nar, who lives across from the damaged home, is still processing his role in saving his neighbor's life. It looked bad and I was just like, you know, if we couldn't have gotten him out, you know, he would have been dead. Imagine this, you're in your home, you're sleeping. Meanwhile, two intruders are inside your home. It's a scary thought, but for a Lebanon man, it became a reality this past Sunday. He's still shaken up by the ordeal, and for his neighbors that heard about it, they're shaken up as well. Lebanon resident Isam Harbi is still shaken up after two people broke into his home last Sunday. Those people are identified as 18-year-old Phoenix Maldavi and a 16-year-old girl. When Harvey confronted the pair, a struggle started between Harvey and the 18-year-old suspect. He, he struck me. I'm always right. I'm almost right. Harvey's neighbors are shaken up to hear about Harvey's scary ordeal. Well, it's a little um, scary in the fact that we could be subject to somebody coming into our home and being victimized. But after Sunday's break-in and attack, residents are being vigilant. I don't normally lock my doors, which is probably the craziest thing that I do. But now I can tell you I will be locking my doors. When I get home, I park in the garage, I walk in the front of my house, walk upstairs, downstairs, and make sure everything's locked. Now, Harvey, the victim in this story, he's obviously angry at the suspect who attacked him and choked him. And for that suspect, 18-year-old Phoenix Maldavi, right now, and he's being held on a $100,000 bond at the Lebanon County Correctional Facility. A heartwarming reunion between a U.S. airman and his little brother 
happened today in Dauphin County. The two had been separated for eight months, and today CBS 21's Bryant Madrick was there for the tear-filled reunion. He has the story from Dauphin County. These stories are always emotional, and this one was no exception. Tears were flowing here at Paxtonia Elementary School, and our cameras were the only ones there to capture it all. There's words I can't describe it. Just once we get together, we light up the room. That's all there is to it. It's a brother's bond. Airman First Class Drake Collins has spent eight months overseas in Kuwait, serving in the U.S. Air Force. That entire time, he was away from his family and his little brother, 17 years his junior. This airman made a trip back home for a special mission to reunite with his little brother. I drove in, I got about 11.30 local time, and me and my dad gathered my belongings, took him downstairs, and he had no idea I was here. Until today. Oh, in the middle. But then, <sighs> I'm home, buddy. I'm home. Amazing. It definitely was very heartwarming and it, it fulfilled my, my mission here.